Deuce. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. What about? What about birthdays and anniversaries? Heaven and nature. You hear that? Thank you. Birthdays and anniversaries. If you've had a birthday or an anniversary, it's kind of like a handicap having your birthday around Christmas time because they can just give you one and say, This is your birthday, this is your anniversary, or your Christmas. Birthdays and anniversaries. All right, where's Heather? Where's Megan? Come on, Heather. Come on, Megan. Pretty girls are here, so come on. All right, Johnny, there you go. He was waiting on these lovely ladies. <laughs> oh, is it an anniversary, John? All right. Well, anybody else with a birthday or an anniversary? All right, let's sing the birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. So, Lord, good to see all of you. If you're visiting with us for the very first time, if you've never been with us before, uh, if you just slip your hand up, our ushers have a, a gift bag for you today. Help us out. If there's any visiting for the very first time, downstairs or up below, we all home folks today. Did anybody get wet this morning? Be honest. Anybody get wet? All right. Anybody going to get wet after church? Looks like it's going to be raining all day. So, it's good to be in the house of the Lord in a warm place. And uh, good to see all of you. Get a songbook and stand. And uh, Ron will lead us in a number this morning. 
I think the fellas are going to have it on the screen, right, gentlemen? <laughs> three, three. There you go. Look at them, guys. Oh, come all you faithful. Now, I don't know what, my thing don't tell me what the number is. And I do believe that the lyrics are, what is it, Bub? 388. There you go. Now, the lyrics may be a little different from what I got. This is some kind of a, a deal here. And Ronnie got it from China, so I don't know. It may be. May be a little different, so help us out. Don't pay any attention to me, just read what's on the screen. All right, a little intro there, Maestro. up on there on the screen as we were singing that song. Yeah, that's not here. Amen. <laughs> it's in Nashville last week and it started snowing and uh, I thought, man, how nice this is. You know, I enjoyed snow for about five minutes and it's not so fun anymore. I enjoy this warm weather down here, so we'll keep it. John, lead us in prayer this morning. <laughs>
Yep. Yeah. Uh, D. D is it though? Does this rain discourage you any of this this morning a little bit? Made it uncomfortable? Uh, I, I think the Lord rewards us for being faithful. And we've gotten a little soft, haven't we? Rain will keep a lot of people home, won't it? I don't mean to hurt anybody's feelings. I know it's rough out there. But, you know, I... I I was talking to Dennis yesterday. I, I, I don't know of a time that I don't know more people that are carrying some kind of burden, battling some kind of sickness, dealing with something that can be discouraging. And uh, you know what i just love for us to do for about an hour here? Just, can we just push that? Whatever that thing is on your mind, just push it away for about an hour. Let's just praise the Lord. Who knows what he might do with it. But even if he doesn't do what we want to do it, let's just praise him for a little bit this morning. And, uh, and he'll show up, amen? Indeed. I believe that in the church today, we've grown accustomed to a lack of praise. And I'm afraid we think that it's so poor.
in their life who's unsaved. And if God were to come back, they would miss out uh, to spend eternity with all of the redeemed. And I don't know, as we were singing, I thought, I think everybody here that has someone who's unsaved, I think we ought to gather around the altar. Sometimes we do stuff out of order. I think that's okay. Um, but I, I really believe we need to get on the altar, get on our faces for our, our loved ones who are lost. And I think we need to call their names out today. And I, my prayer is that as we pray that, that God's Holy Spirit would convict them right now of their need to get things right with Christ before it's too late. You, you may be here this morning. I, I don't know you. And you have a need in your life. Uh, you're, you're calling out to God for something. And you need to pray about something. You, you come on up too. We're just going to we're gonna spend this time uh, praying to the Lord. And uh, just let the Spirit have His way and, and move and convict. And, uh, and I feel that that's what we need to do today. And so you pray uh, for that, that one. Maybe there are two. Maybe it's a family. Maybe it's a, a loved one, a family member, uh, a brother or sister, mom or dad. Whatever it is. Uh, we're calling out to them right now those names to God in prayers as we sing. And, and you just obey uh, God this morning. And, and if, if there's not room, you, you can just kneel where you are. But uh, just lift up that prayer today on God's, on their behalf. Praise God. The love of God is great. Sing it with us. To rise. 
bowed and eyes are closed. You're here this morning. You have a need in your life, a burden that you're carrying. Uh, some have already come and you, you want to be remembered in prayer. Would you just slip up your hand by that same? Pray for me. I have a need this morning. God knows each and every heart and need in your life. Maybe you're here this morning as we've already prayed. You have a loved one that's lost and away from the Lord and they need Jesus in their life. If you want to remember them in prayer, would you just slip up your hand this morning? Bless all the hands. God, we love you. We thank you for your spirit, for those who have already responded. If any need to come and pray, God, I pray that they would submit to your Holy Spirit and do that, which in your precious name, amen. As we stand together as he continues to sing. Describe how I feel about the ones I hold dear in my life. Just three little words, but they're mighty use, and I need to use them today. So to my wife and my boys, my family. There is something that I want to say. Oh, I love you. I want you to know it today. Yes, I love you. It's a privilege for me to say how much you you are precious in me, so from my heart, sincerely, oh, I love you. Please don't make a mistake of saying about those that you love. Will they know how I feel? So I don't need to tell them because there may come a day you would give me for you to have just one more chance to pull them up close and say those. You better do it today while you can. Oh, I love you. I want you to know it today. Yes, I love you. It's a privilege for me to say how much. You are precious in me, and so from my heart, sincerely, oh, I love you. Now there's someone else that we need to consider, and he's worthy of these words today. It's a so privilege. 
get around and shake hands with some of our visitors here today. And uh, it's been a good place to be, amen? amen. Those who respond. So he's going to sing, and uh, you can get around and shake hands as we sing. Away in a manger, no grip or a bed. Announcements. Uh, today, youth uh, dinner is going to be serving uh, picadillo, yellow rice, black beans, salad, drink, dessert. Uh, and this goes towards our youth competition. So uh, the weather outside is frightful. Yes. So go right across the street into the cafeteria or, or across the road and uh, you won't have to go anyplace. Uh, it smelled good during Sunday school. Uh, tonight, our children will be performing their Christmas play. Uh, so that starts at 6 o'clock tonight. So come back for that. Again, we're trying to raise 25000 for our camp meeting. Camp meeting is right around the corner, guys. Yes. I mean, it's right there. So uh, if you'd love to get to that, please earmark your check. Uh, camp meeting 2019. Do I have two more announcements was given to me. Uh, the women's ministry is having their Christmas party December 17th at 6 p.m. at Cheesecake Factory at the Brandon Mall. Uh, seating is limited, so please uh, let Belinda or Vicki know if you will be going. So that's December 17th. See Belinda or Vicki. Also... As some of you know, Judy Pearson fell and broke her yes, ankle yes. Uh, this past week. And so the ladies are preparing meals Monday through God Saturday. So if you're God interested, you. please yes. see Belinda. Um, yes. We have a take a meal set up, and uh, you, can, you can do that. So see Belinda for that. Old brother Tom Watson, he's back there somewhere, yeah, he's had there. hip surgery Friday, and he told yes, had an implant in there. And here he is today, him and Yvette and Taylor. <laughs> 
Okay, just a reminder that December the 22nd, we will be sorting and wrapping gifts for Good Samaritan. Um, if you know anyone that is in need of a, a gift um, package, please see me for an application. We need the applications because I need to know the children and, and uh, it's a reminder to me because otherwise we're gonna forget them. And uh, we need vegetables, you know, corn, um, green beans, anything that would go along, similar to your Thanksgiving meal, but we're gonna try and do some hams. We had some turkeys left, so we're gonna use them too, but anything you do is appreciated. I thank you for all your help, and, and uh, we'll start at nine o'clock on Saturday, the 22nd, so anyone that wants to come and help us is welcome too. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, let's be dis